Hey, what's up? I'm Dickaroni and Cheese, and this is Pokemon Pearl. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, last time we played was Friday. Feels like forever ago. Um, we were in Ortberg City. Uh, we got some Stardust. We smashed that motherfucking like button at the Ortberg gate, and we caught a Bidoof, and we took on Team Plasma, or excuse me, Team Galactic, right here with Dawn. Now, uh, let's take a quick look at the team. We got Zephyr the Starly. I believe... Starly evolves at level 14, so we're only 129 experience away. That's pretty nice. We got Vine Street Expressway, the Turtwig, uh, level 16. I'm pretty sure he evolves at 18, so he's still got a while. And then Beaver College, who we're really not gonna touch until like it gets an experience share. Then you know, but yeah. So um, let's just get right into it. And uh. If you miss me over the weekend, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's next weekend. I'll try and throw together a, a team for Pokemon Sun, because I know they're having the, the May IC. So um, I'll try and get in on that, because it's, it's online. I have an idea, but I, I don't want to bring any spoilers to the channel, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's just wait and attack spam her whole team until we evolve. It's pretty much uh, the, the goal in this episode. It's just Wing attack spam. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Ah, oh, I should have said no. Got $112. So now I gotta take on this fool. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. Yeah, right, kid. Your dad's Pokemon are no match for me. And they're especially no match for Zephyr the Starly. Let's go. Magikarp? Yeah, right. It's got the yellow... Male Magikarp whiskers. So let's just wing attack it. Boom. Taken down. If uh, if, if any of you are live in Europe or like the EU or whatever region it is that gets access to Magikarp Jump, the the app, let me know how it is because I'm curious. I I keep seeing the um, Cerebi Joe keeps like posting about it on Twitter. But I, I can't get it because I'm an American. Very sad. If you're sad for me, type sad boys in the comments. Have I been annoying enough about that yet? Ooh, wait! Oh, dang, we gonna evolve. Thumbnail goals right here. What? Zephyr is evolving? That is great music. Boom! Evolved into Staravia. Incredible. So let's uh, let's take a look at Staravia. As you can probably see, all of our stats have increased. Look at that. 31 attack, 31 speed. Incredible. But look at the ability. Intimidate? That's an incredible ability. Lowers the foe's attack. Unfortunately, when we're just trying to speed through battles like we are now, it's just gonna make things longer, but like intimidate is some some grade A stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like two kilograms of pure good. So we got a budu. Watch this intimidate. Boom! Cut budu's attack. Even though I'm pretty sure budu only knows like special moves like absorb or something. We attack super effective. We're double your level. You're not surviving that. No way. Taken down. 102 experience. Let's go. Last Samantha? Oh, you're so strong. Heck yeah, I am. Alright, let's go. What's this guy have to say? There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon will be able to break those boulders, though. So. Yo, we already know that. We already know what's up. So here it is. Item. Let's go. Found an antidote. Hype, but you know, uh, overworld antidotes have been nerfed since the last generation. We already been over this, but anyway, uh, we're just gonna go over here because there's a secret item. Heck yeah! TM39 Rock Tomb, and we can't go any further until we get Surf, which will probably teach that to Bidoof, or maybe we have to evolve it to Bi Barrel first. I'm not sure. I should know these things because I'm a Pokemon Master, but I don't, so. 
Sue me, I guess. But like, please don't actually. I don't have that kind of money. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only raise the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against type it's weak to. Uh, well, we have we have two normal types, so I guess like what's super effective against normal would be like fighting. I think I think that's the only one. But as far as what it's not very effective against, it would be like well, it has no effect on ghost types. So I mean, on that front, we're just gonna have to wait till Turtwig Twig evolves and learns Crunch. Um, it's not very effective on rock or like steel or ground, but we have Turtwig. It was like grass type moves, which is good for rock and ground. Steel, I guess we'll have to wait until it learns Earthquake uh, when it evolves into Torterra. But, I mean, those those are only the only real big weaknesses right now. I mean, unless you count like flying is weak to ice, and then Torterra is gonna be like four times weak to ice. But, you know. We could always just. Well, actually, no, we can't just catch a fire type, because there's no good fire types in this game. Like, the only one is Chimchar, Monferno, and Infernape. But, like, if you pick a Chimchar, you're missing out on the greatness that is Turtwig, you know? So, like, why would you ever do that? Because I think, other than Chimchar, like, the only fire type you can catch on your first playthrough, like, without some weird stuff, you know, like, some, I think the only one outside of the post-game is Ponyta and Rapidash, which, like, no thank you. You know, uh, and Duncan, if, if you're watching Duncan Knee Deep, yeah, I, I don't like the horse agenda, so. Even though I went to a summer camp where I learned to ride horses, horses are pretty cool, actually, but. I don't like Ponyta in this game, so for this game, I'm against the horse agenda. Cricket's hot. Heck yeah. All right, go back and listen to that cry again, just just one more time. 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right, we are intimidating this Krikatot. Although that doesn't really matter because it only knows Bide, I'm pretty sure. What, a level seven Krikatot is faster than us? That's insane. Or is Bide, Bide's not priority. That's actually insane. Is Naughty like minus speed nature? I'm gonna have to look this up. I know I said I would like in every episode and I haven't, but I'm going to. Ooh, 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 ooh! Dang, insane, le insane. Just insane stats. Will Dick change Pokemon? No, heck no. So let me just type this in my phone, naughty nature. All right, what's it say? So, uh, Bulbapedia is the first link. Let me know what you guys think of Bulbapedia. I prefer Serebii. TBH. But for some reason, Google prefers Bulbapedia. So it looks like Naughty is plus attack, minus special defense. Oh, that's not even bad, though. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, no wonder Zephyr's been putting in such work. Ridiculous. And uh, we don't have cut, so we can't go back there and get that item. But what we can do is battle this double battle. Battle this double battle, holy crap. We can battle these two uh, twins, I guess they are. Yo, something crazy about twins. At my high school, right in the, the grade below me, there were these, these triplets. And two were identical, right? But one was fraternal. So like their mom was gonna have like fraternal twins, like normally but then had like a set be identical. And that's crazy. Insane. Let me know if you're like friends with someone who's like like a quadruplet or something, or like, you know, Octomom, something like that. We're gonna use Razor Leaf because it hits both Pachirisus. Oh, yo, Pachirisu, shout out to Sage and Park. Pokemon World Champion 2014. Let's go. Wing attack. Heck yeah. Oh, wait. Not very effective. I forgot. I should have remembered that. Razor Leaf. Come on. Double crits. Oh, I didn't even need a crit. What? What the heck? Alright, I am super triggered, actually, by that. Whatever. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So Zephyr, quick attack. Boom. And now Razor Leaf should just... Just sweep up the game. Just 
broom through these Pachirisu. Is the plural Pachirisu or Pachirisus? Like, you know, there's there's one moose, or like, oh, there's two moose. I know it is not meese or meeses or moosin. Did it did it dodge again? Oh no, okay. I was about to say that's one incredibly trained Pachirisu. But it's all good. We hit it. Oh, level 17. You know what that means. We're almost at that double level, uh, double evolution. Excuse me. Learn curse. Um, I mean it's a decent setup move, but I don't, I don't want to learn it. By the way, don't ever run curse if you can run bulk up instead. Unless like, unless you were like a trick room team, I guess. But like bulk up pretty much does the same thing, but you don't have to lower your speed. And it's a TM in Gen 3, so I assume lots of Pokemon can get it. Alright, so we got Bullet Seed, but I'm pretty satisfied with Razor Leaf, so I don't really think we uh, need to teach that to Vine Street Expressway. So we're going to heal our Pokemon. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, thank you for waiting. We restarted Pokemon full health. To see you again. That's really mean. So let's just see what uh, these people have to say. My Pokemon's HP got low, and I thought we were done for. That all of a sudden, my Pokemon ate the barrier is holding. Yeah. So if you if you give your Pokemon items that are like natural or whatever, they can heal themselves. We're kind of close to Eternia City, but it's still quite far away. You should be prepared for a long journey. Got a Pokemon with you. It's safe for even a kid like you to go off traveling alone. That's like, I don't know about that. You know. But yeah, let's just look around Floroma Town. It's a nice little town. Town of flowers. Flowers are more flowers. Yay for flowers. Ooh, berry shop. Hype. Let's let's stock up on some berries. So the orange berry restores 10 HP. Um, and the cherry berry cures paralysis. So obviously, the orange berry has far greater utility at this point in the story than like way later down the line. What is this lady? Hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? What? Yo, in the post game, we are so getting a cape. That's awesome. I forgot that was there. Uh, so she's telling us we can plant berries. Oh, and she gives us berries. Petcha berry, I'm pretty sure that cures poison. Let's check. Let's make sure I'm right. I don't want to be misinforming my audience, you know what I'm saying? So, oh wait, I don't need to check tag. Uh, recover from paralysis, cherry berry, that was right. Uh, recover from poison, that was right. Orange berry, 10 HP. All right, let's go. I think this lady gives us uh, this spray duck watering can. So that's just like a Psyduck's face that's been like gouged out so it can spray water onto berries. So that's pretty fun. So we're gonna go over here because there's more berries. Route 205, man. We're getting, we're getting up there in routes. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna not go too far away from Florima Town for the rest of this episode, because there's, there's actually lots of stuff to do here. Let's see, what's this sign say? Uh, vivid and scented. What's in here? I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I definitely think there's something to do. People started playing with flowers and it because it's such a sad place, but nothing would grow. People don't know what to do. And then one day someone expressed thanks for blessing each and the whole hill burst them. That's a wonderful story. It's like it was all barren, but then it wasn't. I got here drawn here, but ooh, honey. Simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. Yo. Alright, well we already know these guys are bad news. Aren't we Team Galactic? Aren't we assigned here? Oh, aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers? This doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But bug and grass type Pokemon creep me out. I don't like being here either. Wow. Fuck off, dude. Turtwig is a grass type and he'll, he will kick your ass. Alright, so let's uh, let's see what's special in this Pokemon Center. Or Poke Center. No, it's a friggin' Pokemart. Holy crap. So, Heal Bell, Heal Balls, and Net Balls again. Um. And just regular stuff. Alright, well. 
It's right at 15 minutes, um, so I don't want to go too far. So we'll save right before this little girl. And uh, next time, we'll go see what's beyond here. Saving. Don't turn off the power. Alright, uh, so I will see you guys next time. Have a, have a great day and all that.